Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel e-learning arena. I'm your host process engineer Sayyid Bukas Heather. In today's short tutorial I am going to tell you my viewers about pump design. I am going to use the software pipe flow expert. So let's see how to design pump using this software. I am going to build a very simple uh, circuit containing two tanks. Let's assume that this pipe, this tank is connected by this pipe. So this is our very basic circuit containing two tanks. This is our reservoir tank and this is an overhead tank. So our target would be to pump fluid from this uh, tank to this tank. So I am going to add a pump in this first pipe by clicking this first pipe. I have added the pump here. Now I have to set up uh, the, uh, the specifications. Let's change the icon of this reservoir tank. And as I am assuming that this is an atmospheric tank, so uh, the uh, pressure would be zero bar gauge. And let's assume that uh, the liquid level is 0.2 meter and the elevation would be zero. So this is the pipe one of our system and uh, the length of this pipe is 10 feet and I have to add a few fittings. Let's assume that it has elbow of 45 degree in it and a control valve and that is a glow valve. Now I have to set up the pump data. I'm going to select a pump from database so these are the all pumps available in database i'm going to the f to select this the very first one as my pump for this system and as you can see that uh, i have entered the speed of 1475 rpm and a diameter of five inches the diameter uh, of the impeller 5 feet uh, curve is just here this blue one I want to decrease I want to move it a slight below so I would decrease the diameter of the impeller and you can see that it is moving downwards and here here is the best efficiency point so our target would be to uh, operate the pump in this region here as you move around in this curve you can uh, you can see the flow and head values for different points in this curve you can add a logo of uh, your company in this curve save this pump to the pipe and now this this is the second pipe i have to enter a few fittings similarly i have entered for the pipe one i am adding two elbows and a glow valve in it and i am changing the length of this pipe to 15 feet so this is the node 3 let's assume that the height has been changed i am assuming a three meter height this is the last pipe and again you have to enter the fittings for this pipe. I have entered three elbows and as this is the as the flow would be end here uh, so I have to add this fitting which is, which is pipe exit to container. Now this is the last overhead tank, the height would be uh, 
3 meter similar to the node 3. So by entering the 3 meter height I have made this whole pipe at the same level. Similarly, I am assuming that this tank is also atmospheric, so no, 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 uh, no requirement for changing the pressure here. And for the liquid level, I am assuming that uh, it has liquid level of 1 meter in the tank. So all the data is entered. Now I have to calculate my system. And our system has been calculated successfully. You can create a PDF report by clicking here and, and all the results would be available. And you can uh, also see the results component by component by moving around in this sheet. Or you can create a pump sheet by going to the pump and then create pump sheet and this would be the pump sheet available. So these are the different values for the pump and this is the pump curve and this point is our, our operating point. So this is a short tutorial and this is the end of the tutorial. And I hope you like this uh, short tutorial and if you liked it, please share this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.